Ladies and gentlemen, please help me to welcome our next presenter, Mark Woodke, the CEO of DopaVision. <laughs> While we're waiting for the slides, my name is Mark Wetke, I'm the CEO of DopaVision, where we're developing an innovative therapy to address progressive myopia or nearsightedness in pediatric populations. Myopia is the most prevalent ocular disorder in the world right now. By the year 2050, it's anticipated that 4.5 billion people, or half of the population, will be myopic, including 140 million children between 6 and 16 years of age. Of these 140 million children, we expect 110 million of them to be progressing. Their eyes are continuing to get longer, and we expect 23 million of them to get some sort of therapy. And if you do not control progression of myopia, your risk of going blind later in life gets significantly higher due to sight-threatening diseases. So what is myopia? Myopia occurs when the eyeball grows too long and light focuses in front of the retina rather than on the retina itself, leading to blurry images. It usually starts very early in childhood and then will continue to progress through childhood until adulthood, adulthood. And regular glasses do not stop the progression of myopia, so they can only correct your vision. And we know that spending too little time outdoors is a key risk factor for developing myopia. And the reason for that is that when we go outside, we're exposed to specific frequencies of light that stimulate certain cells in the eye, leading to the production of dopamine, which is a known regulator of eye growth. So this is where our product, Myopia X, which is currently in a proof of concept clinical trial, takes advantage of this link between light, dopamine, and the regulation of eye growth. So the way that it does this is using completely standard consumer electronics, a standard smartphone and everything else is over the counter. It delivers a stimulus to the blind spot of the eye in the safe range of the blue light spectrum. So this is not toxic blue light, but safe blue light. And it does this while the child plays a series of games and, or watches movies or educational content. Right now we're doing games. And in the blind spot of the eye, we see a concentration of cells that are sensitive to this blue light. And when they're stimulated, they in turn stimulate cells that produce additional dopamine. So this allows us to provide for children a very engaging, fun, safe, non-invasive way of controlling myopia progression that is accessible to many due to the use of consumer electronics. And because we deliver it digitally, allows us to take advantage of many things that we can do, like providing direct adherence, adherence tracking to the parent or the, or the eye care provider. This positions us very well in the competitive space right now, where the solutions that are available, first of all, do not halt the progression of myopia by slow it down by about 55%. So there's a lot of room there for additional therapies, but they, many of them are not, are not safe for, for young children, are not comfortable, are not fun for kids, and, and could be very expensive and, uh, and require all day use. So our go-to-market strategy will be first to partner next year with, with uh, specialist um, eye care providers that specialize in myopia control with a very narrow label while we conduct a pivotal study for a full myopia control label. Once we have the full myopia control label, we will then do a B2B to C launch with specialty eye care providers using a standard contact lens uh, markup model. We will then expand access to telemedicine, partnering with eye care providers and with, uh, and with telemedicine um, uh, uh, providers to provide uh, an at-home guided treatment. So we are right now seeking $20 million in our Series B funding to basically fund our pivotal study, continue to improve our product and the product experience, as well as to expand into additional indications, including additional indications in adults. So I'll end with a quick snapshot of the company. In addition to what I've told you already, um, we have IP covering our tech, core technology in, in all of our core markets, as well as some additional pending um, IP. And we just, two weeks ago, got the first results from um, our proof of concept study from the first half of it that show that not only do we confirm the excellent safety profile of Myopia X, but we've seen the clinical signals that we need to see that we're slowing myopia progression that are gonna allow us to go to the pivotal study. So we look forward to uh, to your questions, and if you'd like to join us in this journey, we'd appreciate it. Thank you. Are the outcome of are the outcomes of the treatment age dependent? The outcome of the treatments will be age dependent in the fact that older kids tend to progress a bit slower already, so you would expect them to, to go a little bit slower. But you're always looking for two things. You're always looking for a reduction in how fast the 
the eye gets longer, we call that the axial length. And you're looking for a change in what we call the spherical equivalent refraction, which is the function of the eye. So it's the same outcomes, but as you're pointing out, for older kids, they're probably going to be progressing a bit slower as it is. That's a good question. Mark. Um, sure. This is modification is the holy grail in healthcare. Yeah. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about the business model? Because there is no a disease, a, a progression stopper right now. So tell That's us a correct. little bit about the hardware and the business model, please. Yeah, so, so right now the idea would be, because first of all, it's very important to point out that right now all myopia progression therapies, with very few exceptions, are out of pocket. And so the idea would be that we would have the potential to provide either just an app where you bring your own phone, you, you can buy all the, all the hardware over the counter, or we would provide a box with everything pre-packaged in it directly to an optometrist or an ophthalmologist. They would then sell it from their, their, uh, right from their store with a markup on it. So that's our, that's our second tier. And we would have a third tier with an actual VR headset with everything preloaded. That would be for the premium, uh, the premium pr uh, type patient. Cost-wise, what are we talking about? Sorry, customer-wise? Cost-wise. What's the price? That, what do oh, the, pr the price. Well, I can tell you right now, again, we need, obviously we price these things usually when we see the data and we get an idea of where we are. But I can tell you that in the, in the myopia control contact lenses, they run about 1,500 a pair, to 1,100 to 1,500, whereas the glasses will generally run you somewhere around $750. So we're thinking that for, that could be our mid-range product. And then if we can have a lower cost option um, for people that want to just get the app and just run it on their own hardware. I'll tell you one thing that was heartbreaking when we were interviewing UK doctors, they said, look, we're getting worried that this is going to become a problem of poor people because they just can't afford any of the solutions that are out there. So we like the idea of being able to offer that kind of like, you know, lower, uh, lower priced option as well as still capture some of the premium markets. Can you give us a brief overview of the team behind the yeah. project? Yeah, sorry about that. I had a team slide. I took it out because we had three minutes. Um, so, uh, so, so my background is in, uh, is, is I have a PhD in biology, but I spent the last 10 years of my life uh, in the ophthalmology department at Novartis before I came to DopaVision, developing products in the ophthalmology space. Our founder is a vision scientist from, uh, from um, uh, Tübingen University, one of our founders. And then um, our CMO is also from the ophthalmology space. We have a CTO that has a lot of experience developing software as medical devices, and then our CSO has experience in everything, ophthalmology, neurology, devices, et cetera. So we actually have an experienced team. Everyone in that team has over 25 years of experience in their field, so it's a really quite a good team. Thank you. And we're 12 overall from the, from the team. So. Dear Mark, thank you so much. Great. Thank and, you. Yep, your time is up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.